Now you may have recently seen my video about the Xbox Game Pass game Chivalry 2, and if you haven't, you should certainly check that out after this video. But if you're more into the bad boy, the edgier older brother, you're gonna want to see this video about Mord Howe. Now Mord Howe is the type to listen to sad music, talk and be low-key toxic. But before you get too confused thinking I'm describing one of your exes, let me give you the spark notes of this game. Mordhau is an online PC medieval slasher that is basically an interactive meme. Making its debut in 2019, Mordhau was several YouTubers favorite game to post. It has a god-awful name, sweaty fan base, but it makes up for it in gameplay and mechanics. The mechanics of weapons in this game have quite an uphill battle when it comes to learning curve, but you don't need to master them all. If you become a master of one tactic, the dopamine rush you will get from wrecking other players is nearly unmatched. Core mechanics are very similar to chivalry in the sense that they include stabbing, slashing, overhead smashing, blocking, and ducking, but where Mordhau excels is it is a directional way of movement. Whether this is ducking or hitting, you're able to move in any diagonal direction. The reason this is important is there are several tactics that are very difficult to defend, and vice versa, there are defense moves that are near impossible to hit when you are attacking. That said, any fedora sporting, mountain dew sipping, Dorito eating, mord how mongrels get to meet someone with equal skill level, they are locked in mortal combat for all of eternity. If one happens to get the upper hand, however, the expected chat result is an easy GG, and in response, the loser must promptly decimate their keyboard and jump out their window. Speaking of in-game text chat, possibly the strongest attribute of Mordhau is the hundreds of taunts, emotes, and savage teabag. There's nothing that could possibly inflict such traumatic memories than cutting down a new player and hitting them with the- Don't forget to like, subscribe, drop a comment below hit the bell icon and share it with your friends. The meme status of Mordhau is severely exacerbated by the elaborate taunts and in my opinion, add an incredible layer to the multiplayer game modes. In addition to the cohesive multiplayer communication, the game modes that are supported in Mordhau are the knight in shining armor, if you will. They include deathmatch, team deathmatch, Frontline, Horde, and Skirmish. Deathmatch, as I'm sure you guessed, is the slaughter of enemies and you will win. Team Deathmatch is the exact same, except this time it's red versus blue. Frontline is a progressional objective-based game mode that typically ends with the defense successfully defending or attackers successfully attacking. Horde is my personal favorite. This is where you and a small team defend against waves. There's 23 waves total of enemy NPCs. Each wave gets progressively more difficult as you can upgrade your fortifications, weapons, and armor. With a wide variety of enemy classes, this is a great place for new players to start and learn the ways of a Mordhau mongrel. Last mode, Skirmish. Similarly to the Last Man Standing game mode, this game mode pits two teams against each other for several rounds until the winning team reaches six wins. Within each of these game modes, you will have the option to use one of eight default classes. The Mordhau classes include the Knight, the Protector, the Huntsman, the Raider, the Veteran, the Footman, the Scoundrel, and the Engineer. In addition to the default classes, you can customize your own character literally from the ground up. After you select a warrior, you are launched into battle. But while in game, you are able to interact with weapons, items, interactable objectives, horses, and many other violent tools. Out of eight large maps and seven small maps, you will play with a variety of lobby sizes anywhere from 16 to 80 users. As you can imagine, with a full lobby, the chaos can be absolutely insane. On the battlefield, you can prove yourself with whatever weapons you prefer. Whether it's the loadout you picked or a weapon picked up from a fresh kill, you can be two-hand the terrible, plastered pan man, or if violence isn't your thing, you could be a soothing melody man. Is that not the best thing that you have ever seen in a game? To give you a taste of the vastness of items in this game, what you're seeing now is a time lapse of someone stuck in analysis paralysis while creating their custom warrior. Well, there you have it. Dare I say the most memeable game to ever grace the internet with its appearance. Like most of my videos, I'm sure I forgot something absolutely vital to Mord Howe.
but you know the drill. Correct me aggressively in the comments below and maybe I'll start an internet argument. Otherwise, if you don't want any beef, let me know in the comments below what points you'd want me to bring up in a comparison video between Chivalry 2 and Lord Howe. Keep your stick on the ice and I will see you in the next one.